force. Vader. Rise. Alright, so I have finished episode three. <laughs> oh, let's get to it. Oh, Alright, so episode three. I mean, it opens up with this uh really long sequence uh this dog fight in space it's not that bad i mean granted the cgi in this whole film is still just as shitty as the previous installments maybe it's like better by like a hair but it's still shitty unconvincing and it just looks so fake i mean it just looks like fucking green screen CGI to the max, all right? But, uh, you know, I did love this long opening here and uh, some nice little swooping shots in there. I mean, it, I mean, with the exception of the terrible CGI and the, 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 the fucking dialogue, man, it's, it's, it's really weak in this film as well. But with those two exceptions out of the way, <laughs> uh, it's, it's not horrifying. I mean, it was mildly entertaining. Gotta be honest, you know, it was, was kind of cool. You know, the sequence where he meets up with Padme and their dialogue sequences uh, weren't too terrible. I mean, I was like, yo, they actually seem like they got some chemistry right here. I was like, okay, George. Yeah, this is fucking guy, Chancellor fucker. Um, and, um, and Anakin, they were talking, and they're talking in here, and the conversation is really interesting, actually, and it, it was convincing how he was sort of persuading Anakin to consider the dark side of the force and uh, you know him going in about play plages or play what whatever name he said and uh, it was it was a good scene and also I I really just wanted to know like what the fuck was going on with the water orbs in the fucking background like what, what in the hell was going on over there also like there's just this planet of fucking wookies like, I just thought that was amazing. The, the, just, just a whole planet of fucking Chewbacca's just running, running amok. Like, I just thought that shit was just legit. Like, like especially when they, they're, there's like a fucking group of them that stands up and they're all like... <laughs> the whole General Grievous versus Obi-Wan Kenobi fight. Like, first off, I don't understand General Grievous's, uh, his coughs. But like he's a fucking robot, right? This son of a bitch is like, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Does a robot have a cold or something? <laughs> General Grievous, he's got like four lightsabers, and I, I'm like, <laughs> how? Only one. Obi-Wan should have died, I felt like. I mean, and he, he basically came away from the fight unscathed. Like, no scratches, no bruises, no, like, bloody nose, no broken bones. You know, General Grievous is just literally knocking the fuck out of Obi-Wan. Literally. And then Obi-Wan is riding this, this lizard, it's like a lizard bird thing. That's like... <laughs> Like, what the fuck was that, George? I mean, and it looks so fake. Oh, my God. Like, there's some moments while he was fighting Grievous, especially when Grievous, like, all of a sudden just gets in this wheel thing for some fucking reason, and uh, Obi-Wan chases after him on this fucking bird lizard thing, and it just there's just so much CGI going on. I'm just like, I'm about to puke. I really love this one scene right here. I, I think it's the best scene in the whole movie, ironically, because there's no action sequences, there's no dialogue. Anakin and Padme, they're in totally different locations, and they're both looking out the window, and it's almost like they can feel essence of each other, even though they're nowhere near each other. You know what I mean? And we're treated to this really haunting and like genuinely eerie uh, beautiful music and you could tell that this scene the scene was created solely to show that slowly but surely Anakin is trying to stay in his place just trying to be good but he is being persuaded he is being magnetized to the dark side 
up until this point, the movie's alright, you know? I mean, it's pretty shitty, but <laughs> up until this point, it's not as bad as the previous installments. It feels like George was really trying here. And look, the only other positive thing I can say about this movie is that even though the CGI, but even despite that, the, vi the visual concepts for these environments displayed here are <clears throat> really thought-provoking. I mean, these environments, honestly, are really dope, you know? I mean, they're, they're rendered terribly, but, but they, I mean, they look dope. I mean, these places look like they almost produce a certain kind of awe and wonder. They're just visually, vi visually thought-provoking. And in the hands of another director, you know, a great director, you know, some extraordinary things could have happened in these environments, and these environments could have been ex extraordinarily well used. George had so many great ideas, particularly visual uh, concept ideas, but they just fell to shit. But seriously, from this moment here, when Mace Windu comes in to uh, get this fucking guy, the movie just drops off hard. When Mace Windu and uh, this guy are fighting, first off, this Chancellor dude, he's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just making these he these dumbass fucking faces that are just ridiculous and like there's oh my god and then like while he's fighting it's so blatantly clear when his head is like like just full on CGI oh my god and then fucking there's this moment where like they they got their swords crossed. Samuel, Samuel Jackson just makes the ugliest, <laughs> he makes the ugliest face I think I've ever seen. I mean, look at that. Look at that face, man. Oh my god. I mean, I don't, what? And then Anakin shows up. You know, Mace Windu dies. Anakin, like, he's like, what have I done? What have I done? And then this dude is like, yeah, I, uh, you know, mate. <laughs> you are Lord Vader now. Rise. And I'm just like, what? So, so what? What the fuck, Anakin? Like that? That was really abrupt. That was really abrupt. Like literally a few seconds ago, you just felt bad for killing Mace Windu. Now all of a sudden, you're like, oh no. I trust you. You'll you'll uh, protect Padme, and, and then from then on, like he's just like full on evil. Like he's straight, like like kills like a group a group of children. Like this kid's like, hey Anakin. <laughs> he says he says some shit, uh, and and Anakin was like, I came to kill you, bitch ass kids. <laughs> All right, George. Oh my God, the the fight between. Yoda and um, him and this guy, <clears throat> there's so much fake CGI thrown around and it, it just, no. And then the Anakin vs. Obi-Wan is so long and it's so unexciting. There's no sense of tension, you know, or suspense. They, they literally, they fight for so long and the fight becomes so ridiculous, like like they're fighting on tables, they're fighting outside, they're fighting next to spouts of fucking lava for some dumbass fucking reason, they're fighting on a river of lava, they're fighting on a hill, they're fighting on this big ass <clears throat> staff looking thing. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, like literally, are they are they just gonna float down this river of lava and just, and all of a sudden they're just gonna be in, in, uh, in, uh, in the ice world fighting and then all of a sudden they're just gonna be in the middle of outer space fighting and they're gonna be in a tropical rainforest fighting. Like how long is this fucking fight gonna last? I mean, it's not like they're cutting each other. I mean, you know what I'm saying? At least that could have made things exciting if one person's losing a limb, one person gets cut on the face, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, um, and then there's this part where Obi-Wan's like, Yeah, well, I chose that one. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking Anakin is just sitting here burning on fire. And Obi-Wan's like, 
Oh uh, yeah, he's burning shit. Let me get out of here. <laughs> and then the worst part is when fucking I mean goddamn, you have this kind of cool moment where we see the the mask being uh, lowered on, and we kind of get an inside of an inside view of what it's like to be Darth Vader for a moment. And then moments later, literally, Darth Vader stands up, and he's just like, "No!" I can't believe George put that in there. I also loved this part when, um, when, uh, oh my god, the line delivery during this scene, oh, it was atrocious, but when Anakin looks up there, and literally, Obi-Wan Kenobi's just standing up there just like, I was just like, <laughs> what the fuck? We are done here, alright, we're done, fucking hell. Holy shit. The prequels are finally over with. Thank fucking God. I'm gonna give episode three... <laughs> I'm gonna give it a three out of ten, ironically. So, this film here gets a three out of ten for me. Can't imagine myself ever watching it again in life. Thank God. Now, it is time to move on to... That's what I want to talk about. And, uh, yeah, I, I will be reviewing this before The Force Awakens. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm done. I expect um, a New Hope review uh, to be coming very soon. Oh my god, I'm so glad the prequels are done. Shit.